Sometimes when rendering you want to control the subdivision level per primitive. In Karma you can do this with the Render Geometry Settings node. You need to define the setting for all primitives as they'll otherwise use a default value of 0.5 of dicing quality, which means something along the lines of subdivide until there's 0.5 faces per pixel in the render. The dicing quality scale on the Karma render settings is a multiplier of this value. In this example, I've set up a render geometry settings for all primitives. I subdivide a minimum of zero times and a maximum of two times. Then I see that my foam mesh here needs a lot more subdivisions to look nice. So I add another render geometry settings node just for the foam mesh primitive. Here I set the minimum depth to one and the maximum depth to 10. So it can subdivide all the way up to 10 times. The dicing quality scale on the Karma render setting serves as a maximum value for the subdivisions in the scene. So if we turn this down to 0.01, we can see that the resolution decreases even though we try to define the dicing quality on our render geometry settings. If you need to subdivide a geometry that doesn't have a displacement shader attached to it, you can create a mesh edit node and refer it to a mesh primitive. It's important that it's a mesh primitive, otherwise it won't do anything. And all you need to do then is set the subdivision scheme to Catball Clark. If we enable this, we can see that my floor mesh now gets subdivided. I've set up a simple example scene with the pickhead and this foam shader. You can download the project file for free using the Gumroad link in the description. Finally, a big thank you to Peter Sinitra for helping me figure this out. Thank you for checking out this quick tip. I hope it was helpful.